Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is Thursday and that means it's time for a collection. I'm going to show you one of my Revolution collections. I'm actually going to show you two. So if you'd like to see them, please stay tuned. So guys, I am going to show you two small collections. I think they're probably both about 10 each. First one, I have got Big Love. And that is your standard black case with rose gold writing. We have got, oh, this is pretty. So we've got 15 shades in here. So that is your palette. As you can see, you can create three totally different looks there, or just mix them up and create whichever you like. We have got Hard Day. This is a different, different outlay altogether. So you've got mattes and shimmers. That is the Salvation palette. So they come with these double-ended um, sponge applicators, which are not really very good, but apparently they're quite good if you want to apply your eye glitter. We've got Stripped and Bare. So again, you can make some um, quite nice, easy looks with that. Um, so I'll go on to this one, which is called Euphoria. Now this is uh, eye shades and contouring palette. So you've got six eye shades and you've got, by, what, by the looks of it, you've got a bronzer, blush and highlight. So that's a nice little travel palette if you want something all in the same place. And next one, this one is quite a popular one even now, and it's Neutrons v Neutrons versus Neutrons. This is matte, matte black with the rose gold writing. And this is a really pretty palette actually. Um, let me have a look. 16 eyeshadows, super elite eyeshadows apparently. The, the, the colour of those, they are really pretty actually. You could get a lot of different looks with that. So it looks like it's pretty much half and half with mattes and shimmers. Um, then we have the Iconic Smokey. Smokey, back to the normal packaging again. This is 12 shades. I think these were the ones that they sort of tried to dupe at Urban Decay maybe. Oh, don't hold me to that because uh, I'm not actually sure. But you've got a brush this time, a, a double-ended brush. That is Iconic Smokey. Had these next three in the Halloween season, whether it was one year or the other one. And the first one is called Give Them Darkness. I'm going to show you the the boxes because they are really nice. So these are these are ten shimmer and six matte. Really deep smoky looks with these as well. Then is Beautiful Darkness. And this is a different one altogether. This is like a maroon matte case. And, you get, and there's 12 shades in this one. And it's called Under Your Spell. It's again, it's a matte case, so it's a very lilac-y colour. And there's only eight shades in this one but they are a lot larger pans. So you can get some cute looks out of that. These, these are all shimmers as well. Beautiful, they are actually really nice. And then the final palette in these are Unicorns Unite. Now I think I actually like the box 
better than the palette on this one. Got 12 shimmers and six matte. That is quite similar to the uh, Under Your Spell that we've just looked at, but the, um, the pans are a lot bigger in that one. So that is the final palette in this collection. Now, I'm not just going to leave it at that because that's long, not long enough at all. So I'm going to show you a few, well, a few palettes that I've dug out which contain glitters. You know, Chrissy likes glitters. You also, I think if you've uh, you've been watching me for a while, you know that I press my own glitters, if need be. I haven't done it for a while, but I do press my own glitters. So I shouldn't really buy these because there's really no need to, but you know, I'm a sucker for a nice palette. So this is in the this is in the style of the reloaded palettes. This, as I said, this one's called Metallic Crush Pigment Palette. So obviously these are going to be some really, really deep colours when they go on. We had hoped and so of course I picked the pink and the purple having all together. Those actually look really pretty. This was out of the Glitter Gift Set. Uh, this is just a glitter eyeshadow palette. You get the, you get this, you get glitter glue, you get a little pot of glitter. And I think, what else do you get? I mean, you may even get a couple of brushes. I'm not 100% sure. But that are those rather tame. They're more, they're more like sort of high shimmers than glitters. But let's have a show you. These do need the glitter glue, as I said. Look at that. These, I think, these was the first type of um, glitters. They went, they went for, so they wasn't, as you can see. They don't actually swatch very well straight on your skin. But you do need, as you can see, that's really attached to my finger then. It's more like a, more like a foil. Um, but you do need the glitter glue with this, without a doubt. Then we have another possessed glitter palette that probably is the next year on from the last one you do need the glitter glue they look beautiful so you can get a little bit of a, a swatch on it but it's very very patchy um, but if you tap that onto your eye on top of the glue it does really stick together and it's vibrant this is last year's Pride palette. This one is called Spirit of Pride. Wow, look at that colour. How pretty. Very, very patchy, but you can see what colour it's on. The colour that, that comes. That's the colour. But as I said, I, I will keep on reiterating that you do need a glitter glue with these. A lot of people don't like glitter on their eyes especially and I will say that if you do use it please remove it very very carefully don't sort of swipe across now these next three are a series so you've got the foil frenzy but these again these are really pretty these was a, a totally new formulation it was a different uh, different way they they uh, poured them apparently but by golly, they're beautiful. They're creamy. I'm just going to swatch in a couple of different colours because I always go for the pinks. Those, how vibrant are those? So those, um, they are, as they say, they're more of a foil than a glitter. But you do get such a good colour payoff with those. Uh, the next one is called Foil Frenzy. Fusion, a few different colours there. Um, really, really creamy. Look at those. I don't know why I haven't used these before. I forget what I've got, you know. I keep on buying new ones, and then I just, it just totally goes out of my mind what I've brought. Third and last in the in the series of this, I don't know whether they'll bring any more out. I'm not sure. Is the foil frenzy? hybrid which is obviously they're darker have I opened this experiencing this together these are a lot lot darker right 
gotta have a look at that green. Those are good swatches. Really effortless. How bright are they? Beautiful. I must. What I'll do is I'm gonna keep those out, and I'm actually gonna do a look with them. That is the Foil Frenzy trio. And now we're on to the last lot and it is Hot Pursuit. Beautiful red glitter palettes and nine press glitters. Party shades on steroids there are. So that one's Hot Pursuit. And next one is Abracadabra, which is the black glitter. And again, they're all nine pan they're all nine pan palettes. These are a lot brighter. It looks like they've sort of covered every colourway in the glitters. Then there was Midas Touch, which obviously is the gold. Beautiful. That is Midas Touch. So you've got like a lot of autumny colours even there. That was the first set of three that they brought out. And then last, I think it was last year maybe, they brought, only brought two out. And these were Illusion, which is the silver palette. Hmm. Which these look these look dull in, compa in comparison to the other ones in fairness the last one of my of this series and my glitter palettes and of my video is diva which is beautiful pink And these actually look very, very similar. I must get these out and just check these out to see how similar they are to the other ones. Because these look very much like one I've just shown you. Well, the uh, the first the first year's ones actually do seem more glittery. So they are slightly slightly similar. Yeah, the orange is um, quite similar and the gold I would say and the gold is slightly different obviously they're all going to be different shades come what may anyway because they don't they don't repeat the shades they may look very similar um, as we've uh, we've been through before as I've found out guys if you have got this far thank you so so much for watching don't forget to leave me a thumbs up that would be brilliant and if you haven't already and you like what you see please consider subscribing to my channel because that would mean the world to me i'll be back on sunday stay safe please if you haven't got to go out please don't it's so dangerous out there so i'll see you guys on sunday love you loads bye